Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you, wherever you are today. I have got an email today from Razan. Now, Razan has found a Neville contradiction. So I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to discuss it with you. It comes from the Neville Goddard Power Lecture Excerpts, 1968. I will put the link to the YouTube that Razan is referring to down in the description below. And it starts at about the nine minute 35 mark where he talks about a specific person. And it seems like, as Razan has said, he's not very fond of it in this lecture. What are your thoughts? She has asked. So he did do this lecture in 1968 and he did meet his wife the one that he really wanted to be with, his specific person before this time. So as Razan is saying, he discusses that it is when you want a specific person, Neville's saying in this lecture, it's not the specific person you want, it's actually to be, say, happily married. So he does contradict himself in this lecture because he actually is a living example that he definitely wanted a specific person which was his second wife. I will put the YouTubes where he refers to how he manifested his specific wife and his specific marriage to this woman. I'll put those down below for those of you that want to hear this story of Neville's specifically. So Rizan, yes, you are correct. And I do agree with you. He does contradict himself because in the actual YouTube itself, he says, no, it's not necessarily that man that you want. It is really that you want the end result, which is happily married. And he makes the reference that he'd been to many, many weddings where the person was a bit sheepish because they finally married another person. So there is some contradiction in many, many of these lectures, you know, whether it's Neville, whether it's Law of Attraction, whether it's even with Abraham Hicks, I've heard it too. And we do, it's like, it's not clear cut and dried black and white. There is some gray to these particular concepts, particular techniques, particular ways of doing things. I hear you, there is contradiction. And I know many people have even referred to my YouTubes and said, you contradict yourself too, in, especially in relation to the specific person subject. And in relation to Neville's everyone as you pushed out, there is contradiction with that as well. Why is that? Because not everything is exactly black and white. As I've said before, there are like in nature, like in life exceptions to the rule. There are, there's a great possibility of applying these things and understanding these things the way the person meant it at that time in relation to where they were at at that moment, you see. But I mean, I look back at some of the YouTubes I did four years ago. Would I agree fully with what I said then? Not always because I have evolved and I have grown and I have tested and tried certain things. And my own experience has changed my view of certain things. So you will see and with Neville too, he wrote stuff in 68, but later on, you know, things develop, things change, things, your perception changes, your beliefs change. And that is through you applying certain things in your experience, how you experience the knowledge, how you apply the knowledge, how you get results from the knowledge. So take what you like and leave the rest, I would say because there are many, many contradictions, even on YouTube, different law of attraction YouTubes and YouTubers, different people, especially around this subject of a specific person, which is a big hot topic of contradiction and of people disagreeing. A lot of people say you just pray for the divine design. You pray for God's will. You open yourself up to the most and best person for you or the divine selection as Florence Scovel Shin would say. And you see what happens. Now that goes against if you have a specific person in mind and you live in the end and you imagine being with them. So try and just say to yourself, okay, I'm just going to read and listen 
as I get to know more, I'm going to decide for myself which things I want to follow, which beliefs I want to have, and which techniques I'm going to try. So yeah, I look, it was a really good question, Roseanne. And I, this is why I've wanted to answer this because I do think it is, you know, Neville's got a foot in both camps here. He's got a foot in, I have manifested my specific person, but when someone else was telling him about, I want a specific person, he was saying, hang on a minute. No, you don't. You just want to be happily married. And it was like, well, you know, the person that in this, in this YouTube that I will put down below in the description basically says, well, hang on a minute, you know, and kind of, they have this little thing going back and forth. So have a listen to it, have a listen to Neville's specific person, YouTube's about how he did it. And you decide for yourself, really, you know, there's no one way around the wheel here. There's no one way around the wheel. And just really try to see what resonates with you, what feels good for you. I'm a big believer in that there's not one only teacher or one only way. You know, there are many wonderful teachers on this planet and I listen to different ones and they don't always agree with each other or they do contradict each other. But I think, you know what? I like that there's not this thing of, well, there is this thing, my way is the only way, I'm right and everyone else is wrong, that still exists. And I won't mention where or how, I'm sure a lot of you will already be aware of that. But there is little bits you can pull from different teachers and put it inside your own little toolbox, you see. And, you know, I find my toolbox has got Neville, it's got Abraham Hicks, um, it also has... Kamal Ravikant, it also has, Bentino, it also has, Dundapani, it also has, Jack Canfield, Rhonda Byrne, who wrote The Secret, there's lots of wonderful teachers. So try and build your own little toolkit and take the bits. And I know sometimes it does get confusing, but just do your best to try not to take on too much and pick the things that you really, really resonate with and work on that. Okay? So thank you, Roseanne. Lovely. So I'll put all that down below for you to have a look at. See you soon.